Itself in these cars, it's come on. Yeah, it's a, it's a system that you get on the cars called Easy Pack. Yeah. On some of them now, you can actually, when you're carrying the shopping back from the from Sainsbury's all over, you just sweep your foot underneath the rear bumper. Oh, really? And provide you've got the keys on you and the car detects oh, you there. Oh, that's quite handy. Yeah. Very handy. Right. So, is this everybody's first time off road? Yes. 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 Okay, well it's quite it's quite interesting, it's quite up and down here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna break this out of four months. <laughs> so here we go. It's a good thing it's so secure, isn't it? There's rather a lot of cars around here. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. No, 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 I, I very rarely go over to the 4x4 site. I just spend most of my time on track and I just, uh, just come off a, a little experience there with somebody. So, uh, this is quite nice because it just uh, a bit of, adds a little bit of variety to, to yeah, proceedings. So, most people I think have the wrong idea about off road because in the uh, in the peak of the heyday years, whenever you saw one of the uh, the presenter team in a 4x4, they were invariably ooning the thing around the quarry as if they were on a rally special stage. Now, mm. okay, on a, on a stage, of course, the idea is to get around as quick as you can. Mm. Uh, but then you've got a bunch of mechanics who appear out of the woodwork to repair, or at least replace the bits of the drives are bent and broken. Mm. Uh, in extreme off-road, which is what our course simulates, you can be away from civilization for some time. So you kind of got to drive the car in a sustainable way. It's really all about doing the very least that you need to to achieve whatever it is that you want to. Mm. So it's all fairly low speed. Um, and the thing about these modern four off-roaders is there's a lot of technology um, to help yeah. drivers out. I have to say that to me this is cheating. I learned to uh, off-road in a, a much more basic car than this. Um, the technology actually allows this car to do at least one thing that a, a normal off-roader would really struggle to do. Um, I know it feels like we're there, this isn't actually the off-road course yet. <laughs> this is, this the, is, uh, is the this is, track, isn't it? Yeah, this is part of the, the original Brooklyn's racetrack and uh, we actually run our under 17's driving program on here, which is uh, why it's uh, why it's Cone City. <laughs> uh, you don't actually have to be of any particular age to drive a car. You just have to be big enough to reach the pedals. So there's a there's a 1.5 meter uh, minimum yeah, okay. limit on there. Hmm. So actually, the youngest driver we've ever had here was seven. Oh really? The oldest, yeah. The oldest is 97. It's oh a, wow! It's a fair spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. So what can this, as a new car, do that the old ones can't? Well, there's one that, that there's one um, obstacle will take you over the V gully, which a, uh, a traditional off-roader might struggle to, to, to get up because a lot of them, if you haven't got enough axle articulation to keep the wheels in contact with the ground. Mm. And you can't lock all of the diffs to stop the power escaping from uh, the wheels okay. that have no grip. Mm. Yeah. Um, it becomes a, an interesting, an interesting challenge for the car. Yeah. So what we'll do now is actually put the car into its basic off-road mode. So I'm just raising the ride, the, the ride height, and going to make one or two of those systems a little more sensitive to uh, to what we're doing. Look at all this data. Wow. Yeah. So it tells us how much it tilts. <laughs> so that. That's that angle there. That's that, that that's the steering input that I've got. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's roll. Yep. That's pitch. Oh, okay. 
but in fact if you look at the graphic you'll be able to see the wheels moving up and down and in fact as I turn the wheel let's do a nice sharp turn here so the graphic as if there isn't enough to look at out there already <laughs> yeah, I know. But the, the graphic is quite entertaining for the past in its own right yeah. yes You need to go on the other experience to do the, to do the skidding. Two for one today. That's what. That's oh, what you're cool. about so you do, say, you're doing the passenger oil no, as well. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, we would do, but well, they might. You might. No, the next available slot of our hub was full. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the, the yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah so we only bring as we, we only bring as many drivers in as as we're going to need. So there's yeah, the, the, okay. yeah, we sort of. Okay. Now once we've gone through the barrier, we're on the real off-road course. Are you ready? Ready. Mm. Okay. I like the sound of that. Mm. So one of the things that happens when you raise the car's ride height is the, is, is the ride becomes a little bit firmer. Right. Which is another good reason. It's a good idea to keep things relatively slow. Yeah. Yeah. See Jack? Water? Yeah, going through the river. How deep's this? This isn't that deep. There's a bit that we'll go through shortly, which is is much deeper. But this is this is why I brought us here. We've got a nice a nice slope to drive up. Yeah, look at this slope, Jack, in front. Can you see it? We'll never get up this. Okay, are we ready for this? Ready? Here we go. You, don't worry, you, there, there's a bit we'll do that will give you ample chance to look at the data. Yeah. Now I'm not doing anything here, this is the car. Got a system, you've got a system on the car called uh, downhill speed regulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've set it at three miles an hour, so it's trying to hold the car at about that speed. Oh, okay. It is pretty bumpy, isn't it? You don't, you don't have to waste much. Okay. Next, we're going to go and tackle the V gully. V gully. The V gully. Now, this is the bit. This is the one that some traditional off-roaders might struggle with because okay. we've got a bit of technology on this car, which, when a wheel loses grip, the brake will be applied to that wheel to stop it from spinning, yeah. so the power still gets sent to the wheels that actually okay. do have grip. Yeah. I think we can switch Parktronic off, we don't need that. Uh, What's Parktronic? Parktronic is for when you're parking. Oh, so the, the, yeah, the sensors, that's all right. Oh. I've got a pedal here, What's that? Uh, that's yeah. our panic pedal. Four. I spend more time sitting in that seat helping people get more out of the car. Oh, than actually I see, you're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now then. Can you see this in front of us? This thing, this is the V gully. This is the V gully. Ooh. Now we've got mirrors on each side here, so as okay. we, uh, we're going to do something called a cross axle twist here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now there, is bring us up the other side. Watch the watch the near side front wheel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's spinning. That so it's just, right off the deck. Can you see the, the wheels And we're the just bank. on the point of balance now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see it, Jack? And in a moment, the car will tilt across its diagonal axis. Can you feel we're right on the point of tilt there? Yeah, yeah, Here we go. Yeah, nice. And now your wheel's down, and the one behind me's come up. Can you see out your window, Ames? Yeah. Oh, whoa! I'm laying against the window! Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> and I just wow. lay still here. Oh, 
Okay, fairly steep descent now, steep and bumpy. Are we ready? Oh, I don't think it will, because the man's going to go very slow. Feel how bumpy it is, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Right. I can't hear my seat. Forty percent. Forty percent. Good lord. And once we're on the flat again, if you look behind you, you'll see why it was so bumpy. Oh, look at that! And steps on it. We just driven down some steps. Just driven downstairs. How's that work yet? We keep them on fleet for about a year. So oh, right, they'll really? do, yeah, they'll do about 3,000 miles with us. How are we going to get over it? Oh, I don't know, the man's going to show us. These are called the elephant steps. So the grinding that you can hear there yeah. is that system that's applying the brake to the wheel that's losing grip. Ah, uh, okay. It sounds quite dire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is just the car doing what it's supposed to do. The one. We've got another sort of set, set of steps for dinosaurs as well. No way. So it's just looking for where the grip is. Yeah. yeah. I'm presuming you can't do too much with the car for what it's doing there. Um, well, I've got to have a little bit of sensitivity because yeah. if, if I just apply too many rubs, then. Um, you can you can overwhelm the systems quite quickly. Mm, yeah, yeah. Do this for real, no, 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 no. I mean, the, it, these controls here yeah. uh, that's the pro engineering pack, and that's the thing that turns the car into a proper off roader. Yeah, yeah. Very few cars that are sold in the UK have that option on them. Oh, really? Well, it's a five thousand pound option that yeah. no, one, no one's ever going to use. <laughs> um, you go to places like the States and the Middle East, two of our principal markets, and mm. almost all the cars that we sell over there have a yeah, pro pack on them. You're a backseat driver. Yes. Yeah, I know it. See, that's a very big thing to high hills. Yeah, they're like very high hills, aren't they? Okay, most of the time, just letting the car do its own thing, so yeah. we're trundling along at its own pace here. This is, actually, this is actually quite a fast trundle. They normally sort of go between four and five. This one, for whatever reason, seems to want to cut along. Uh, six to seven, or it does do once we got the lock unwound. <laughs> so, really, it's, it's, it's quite a big car, but it's pretty manoeuvrable as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to get a bunny. This is going to get quite uh, bumpy along here now. Ready for some bumps? the heads up. Yeah. Switch it on on it, Jack. Another one. There's some big bumps coming up. Massive bumps. Massive bumps. Just yeah, this is where you can see the, the wheels going up and down yeah. there. Taking a right hit. <laughs> and 
and when that goes red, oh, right. it's locking the centre diff. So ah, right. the power split between the, the front and the rear axle is normally 35 at the front, 65 at the rear. Yeah. When that locks, it guarantees you a 50-50 split between the, okay. between the two. And it's making that decision on its own. Yeah, you can lock it out permanently. Yeah. But there's always a trade-off, so you never have the tech. You only apply the technology when you need to use it. Mm. Busy on here today. Uh, not as busy as it has been. How's it been busy? Yeah. Well, this is kind of the, this is the last day of our summer holidays program. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, most, right. most of the kids have. Well. We base ours according to Surrey County Council's yeah, so, yes. um, timetable, and of course, although lot, lots of the schools have got inset days today, mm. most of them have actually gone back today. Uh, right. So, because it's an inset day, we, we didn't run the silver arrows display mm. at lunchtime, for example. Yeah. Okay, let's go into low range again. Let's tackle this now. Look at this, Jack. You see it, Ames? So we'll see if we can uh, we'll see if we can finesse our way finesse. up the slope, yes. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Yes. Go! <laughs> I'm going Oh yeah, you don't want to rush this. Yeah. Look at this, eh? Oh. No. Tires are, I might have to, we might have to bully our way up here, you know. Oh, right. Can you hear the tires slipping? Yeah, I'm going to have to bully our way. The, the finesse has not worked. Oh. A little bit too, a little bit too much mud in the tread. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look. What's this to with us? Oh. <laughs> so, finesse would have been nice, but. <laughs> yeah, nice and different. Didn't quite happen that time. So the little yellow diagram, or the diagram with the yellow overlay, what was that telling us? It was like a, um, that. Okay, that's, okay, so this is basically, oh, yeah, we've got, we've actually got reverse. a three, we've actually got a 360 camera on this car. Right. So if I go full screen now, oh, yeah. when I put it now into forward gear, we've got the forward camera going. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And provided I don't exceed, Seven miles an hour. Why are they going down? The oh, camera. Down the same way. Well, um, show us where we're going to go. Oh, no, so right. we can't see what's happening at the moment. No, that's quite good, isn't it? But the camera can. Jack, you're looking at you. I guess you can't see this. It doesn't look that steep, does it? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> so let's go back. Let's go back to that display. Mm. I'll put the SP back on. That's okay. So this slope. Gets to sixty percent. Good lord. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ease us down here so you can see how steep it is. Now if the tires are still a little bit damp, right. it won't hold us at sixty percent. Good. That means we know the wheels are rotating because we can hear the brake, the brake pads rubbing against oh, the discs okay. there. Okay, so that means it's controlling us. Yeah. Rather about to let go. Fifty percent now. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Oh, okay. We're going to have to come off and let the thing take over. Got to sixty-one percent there. Oh. But too slippery today, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was too fast. <laughs> That's because the car couldn't hold us. But we got right in the end. Tires were losing grip, so we basically had to let go and let the technology take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just Are before we, in the we were on top, the there was a Ferrari going down. He'll be going to the hotel. Nothing to do with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing to do with us. So we don't encourage the present of the uh, presence of that particular arm of Fiat here. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm not sure. I don't think Fiat actually owned them anymore. They did for a while. Mm, they did. Oh, we that video. Yes. Yeah. Let's go get 
you're bouncy little man, you ready? Yep. Good. Oh, whoa. <laughs> 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 I just said there Let's wait for them to get out of the way because we want to go. We want to go through that puddle. Can you watch them see them go through the water? Sweet more than the puddle. That's white. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, as soon as he gets into it, out, huh? yeah, we don't want to be opening the doors as we go through here because <laughs> we're going to get soggy feet. <laughs> a soggy kinds of wet faces. Well, hopefully, we don't get wet faces. Whoa! I owe me a name. You'll hear it, you'll definitely hear it when we're in the water. At the moment, it's it's just under 500 mil. Oh, okay. Now we can wade the car to 600 mil without having to modify it in any way, shape, yeah. or form. Been in the, I've been in the business for 20 years now. Um, I've worked for most of the manufacturers at some stage or other, um, but normally on an ad hoc basis. Um, I've been full time here for six years now. Oh, right. That to the uh, to the young drivers. Yeah, they're all young drivers over there. We've got to go over this one. Whatever else I may be, I am no longer a young driver. <laughs> that blue car is still in there. Yep, he's supposed to be there. Cheap bit of marketing, isn't it? You've got a whole generation of kids growing up around here who have learned to drive mm. on our cars. Mm. So, probably one day they're going to buy them. Well, let's hope they get a job that is commensurate with the cost. Oh, with the, the finance car. deals these <laughs> yeah, days. Yeah. Very few people own cars outright. The banks, banks own most of them these yeah, days, don't they? Right. Well, actually, I'm saying, yeah, that's right. I have no idea. We Try and pay for our cars out there. So that we don't have that regularly regular monthly cost. I guess it's maybe it is the norm. I mean oh, yeah, there are so many good deals out there on finance these days. Mm. I hope you get something. Well, they don't give me a company car. 
they reckon I have way too much fun out here. <laughs> they, they might have a point, actually. Yeah, but you have um, skills to maintain. Tell them that. <laughs> David. <laughs> so there you are, kids, did you enjoy that? Was that good? Yes. Good. Do you want to do the fast one? Yeah. I'll make you do it as fast. Do you take many kids on the fast ones? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, you know, if you can put them on a on a booster seat, then then it's fine. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. think I'd take a baby in arms around, but otherwise. <laughs> don't, don't do a baby. Don't do a baby. Wispy, your kids aren't they? It's quite unusual. Are they normally yeah. this whispery? No, they, they they can be. They can be. Um, they just this is, this is good behaviour, I guess. Isn't it? Are you on your best behaviour? Because mummy. Because daddy shouts louder than mummy does. Kinetic one out there. Yeah. I'm sure you'll enjoy it every bit as much. Yeah. It's very to drive then, you're so lucky. It's alright if you like that sort of thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> You'll be able to get my bag out. Oh, oh let's, um, let's just come forward with that so you can. Brilliant. Okay, let's open that for you now. Nice. Thanks very much. My pleasure. Can you say thanks? My pleasure. Bye now. Thanks very much. Good Cheers. Good to Cheerio. Oh, that goes. Oh. that Well, that's very bad news, isn't it? <laughs> Four by four. Yeah. Is there anyone else can do that? No, because they, they tried to even it out with you and Zach. Yeah, really Zach good. spent three hours doing fucking passenger rides yesterday. Yeah, but this is today. Yeah. This is why they put one on you, and uh, he's got something on you. Okay. I don't know.